These next problems have to do with some of the terminology and ways of naming angles. This first question says name a point in the interior of angle ABC. And an angle, you know, divides a space into two sections. There's what's inside it, that's the interior. And then there's all this stuff out here, which is the exterior of the angle. But remember, this stretches on. So if you saw a point right here, even though they hadn't drawn the lines, that would still be on the interior of that angle. So points G and D are on the exterior of the angle. Point E and F are on the interior. And then, of course, points B, C, and A, well, they're on the angle, so they're neither on the interior nor the exterior. So if we were going to name a point on the interior of ABC, you could choose E, you could choose F. Either one of those would be correct. All right, and then this next one says, which does not describe the angle below? And this is about how we name angles. And the rule of naming angles is that, well, you could call it just plain old angle D if you wanted to. You can name it uh, just based on its vertex. And this little sort of um, pointy thing that is the symbol for angle. Most of the time, though, so as not to get confused with other possible angles, we use three letters, and we use uh, the, the vertex here, the point of the angle, and then two others on either uh, side of the angle. The rule is that this vertex has to be in the middle. So you could call this EDF or FDE. And here our choices are, we've got FDE is one, and I know that works. And then another choice is DEF. Well, that does not work because E is in the middle, and E is not the vertex or the point of the angle. So correct answer here is going to be this one. All right, let's look at a slightly more complex diagram here. This one says, which is not a proper name for the angle marked with an arc? And often they'll do that. They'll put an arc, a little curvy line here, to describe an angle. And what you'll notice here is this arc goes um, across you know, to, uh, this line that cuts through the center of it, and it's that whole angle there. So we could call it angle F. That's okay. And remember, we're looking for the, the name that's not right. And look, we have angle F down here, so that's right. That's a correct angle, so it's not what we're looking for. Um, and then you can also call it any, you know, it could be AFD or AFE or HFD. So any of these that come on the, uh, any of these points on the outside lines here will, will define it. So let's look at this. Remember, F is always going to be in the middle. HFE, does that work? So we have HFE, yes, that works. Uh, DFG, so DFG. G, that would work as well. So I guess our choice for this one is that all of these are proper names for that angle. So that's a little bit about uh, angles and their terminology.